Yeah. How's it going today? Easy busy. Yeah. Ten twenty-five. We had sent out two thousand seven hundred and thirty meals so far, and we still got a lot more to go. And that's not counting nobody's even got here yet. We ain't even opened the kitchen yet. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Record-breaking day, maybe. Uh, who knows? Yeah. It's just good to know that some people are going to eat a good hot Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah. How does it feel to know that that little, this idea you had 15 years ago, this is what has come of it? Yeah, it's uh, crazy. It's just good to have all this help with us. That, uh, yeah. People to come together and the community come together and make it happen. Just appreciate everybody pitching in and making this happen. It's been a, a wild couple of days, but we've made it through and the good Lord's blessed us. Walk me through how you do this. What's, what, what is, what, how does it start? What is the schedule? Uh, on Tuesday, as soon as school is out and all the students are gone, the uh, Baptist group comes in and sets up their outdoor kitchen here. Uh, they've got 10 or 12 ovens and all kinds of cookers and uh, so they set up on Tuesday evening, and then on Wednesday we all come back about 10 in the morning, and that's when the desserts and the breads come in for the dressing. Crews come in and start cooking back here. Uh, probably by eight or nine o'clock Wednesday night, uh, we have 90% uh, uh, of the meal cooked. Then the group comes in about one in the morning and makes the dressing uh, and uh, rolls and gravies, and then at seven we start packing these meals and at 9 30 we have drivers meeting at 10 o'clock they start going out <laughs> how many people are volunteering today i haven't had a good count but i'd say we've had well over a couple of hundred yeah. today and we had 150 or so yesterday probably wow. uh, you know it's funny we will we want them at seven o'clock so we can get everything organized uh but the trustees, Sheriff Lawson let us borrow some trustees through the night uh -huh. and early morning, and they had the line set up. Wow. So all we had to do is come out, open it up, and start packing them and serving them. Okay, well, cool. Drop one. Save that one for the squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> I'll eat it. I don't care. Touch, <laughs> Amen. Didn't touch the ground. Five second rule. <laughs> That's right. That's what my kids say. <laughs> Can we still load it if we've dropped it on the ground? Is that something? Yeah, I, don't know. I wouldn't risk it. Go ahead and eat it. That one for your reward. I know. Sneak attack with the camera. Sorry about that. Well, we'll recap the court. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was. <laughs> hey, I love it. Let me tell you right now, this saved my life. I weighed 87 pounds. I love this one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what is that? I'm alive. I've had it. Yeah, I ain't talking about it. Got you down to two lines now. <laughs> Three lines. Uh, how, uh, how many people have you brought with you today to volunteer? I have five of us. Wow. Family? Uh, actually, my Boy Scout troop. Ah, well, and family. Which scout is that? Which troop is that? Boy Scout Troop 199. Ah, okay. How, have you guys been doing this every year? This is our fifth year, I believe. Wow, okay. Yeah. So, what do you guys like about doing this? Um, we always like giving back to our community, and this is one of the big ones. And yeah. I like to get the boys up and make them work for it. Yeah, what, what time do you guys get here? We get here at 6.30. Oh, boy. So are they hard to get out of bed? Uh, no, actually, they enjoy it. They're here yeah. before me sometimes. Yeah. So you guys work up a good sweat, then you get to go eat for your yep. own. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yep. do you, have you done your cooking already? Um, actually, my mom is cooking for me, right. so I don't have to. So you, you, you work in another way. Yep. Then. All yeah. Right. If you've never done it before, you should really come and try it because I mean, it's a week's long worth of volunteer activity and it's really awesome. I mean, yeah. to watch these people come through here and to see the joy on their faces is just amazing. I mean. Indeed, you take one person, one person only, and that's your person while they're still here. All right? So if they're here for 45 minutes, you take them and get them whatever they want. Each time, say you can. Here's the menus, and you take their order, what they want. We uh, 
we were done early today. We had a lot of volunteers last night from the church group. Yeah. So we're done earlier, and then when the inmates came in, they did a great job. Mm -hmm. All the volunteers have been doing a great job. We uh, cooked about the same amount of food we did last year. That's a yeah. thousand turkeys, 700 pounds of ham. Wow. You know, about six or seven wise. Well, just did more stuff. Did 800 pounds of stuffing, wow. mashed potatoes. Yeah. We've already delivered close to 2,000 meals yeah. on the street. Yeah. And now we're fixing to open up the kitchen here for yeah. and people coming here to eat. Yeah, okay. So how many years have you been doing this? This is my 15th. Why, why do you keep coming back? Uh, I don't know. I just, I enjoy it. I just, yeah. it's, it's a challenge to me because I'm up, you know, a couple days straight. Mm -hmm. It's a challenge to me to get everything organized mm -hmm. and, and to, uh, when there's a crisis, you know, I know they're going to call me and if I get it working, and people get fed and people get, you know are happy and the volunteers get, we got to be doing something right because the volunteers save faces come back yeah. every year after year yeah i mean I've, I've been here 15 years and this and the only reason i missed the first year because i wasn't living here yeah you know? <laughs> i just moved in <laughs> maybe i'm a little selfish <laughs> i do a lot because of me <laughs> it's like a big you know you're a big brother or big sister Oh yeah, I'm helping the kids, but you're really fulfilling the need of yourself. Yeah. So it's kind of selfish, it's both ways. Yeah. You, know, you have a need of yourself that you have to fill, you know, to, to fill, to avoid that gap that you're missing something, mm -hmm. and that's by helping other people. Well, if you're going to be selfish, this is the best way to be selfish, I oh, guess. Oh yeah. And we have a great group of people here. I, you yeah. Know, people think I do it all. I don't. I, <laughs> I really don't, do, you're I don't the, cook you're anymore. You're the power behind the throne. Yeah, I don't cook anymore. I just basically tell them what, what Pulling the strings. <laughs> Uh, it's the first time here. Awesome experience. It's, uh, I encourage anybody and everybody to help out. I enjoy helping other people and helping this community. Being a veteran, never experienced so much warmth in the Tri City area. Been wanting to help out somehow, so we heard about this through another friend, mm -hmm. and uh, this is why we're here. But what is it about this experience that you like? Meeting new people mm -hmm. and know that we're making a difference. Yeah. Helping others that could not be here, that are shut in or uh, having hard times, that we can uh, mm -hmm. help a little bit. Do you have any idea how many trades you helped fill up this morning? 1,500. Really? You personally touched 1,500 trays? Not personally. Oh, okay. Probably 700. Yeah. So you know today you touched the lives of 700 people, whether they know it was you or not. That's right. <laughs> I'm helping them out. Yeah? Okay. So uh, how, how many years have you been coming to this? How many years? I, I've come with her. How many years have I come to you, you were coming with your husband. So he away, so yeah, he used, yeah. he used to come. Yeah, he used to come. Almost day and night. Almost a decade, it sounds like. Pretty long time. Do you like it? What What, what do you like about it? Well, it's good food. Yeah, I know. I gotta ask dumb questions sometimes. Of course, the food is probably the best part of it, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, so uh, do they are they treating you good? Yeah. Well, I like ham pretty yeah. good, and I like dressing. Yeah, I'm, I'm a dre I'm I, a big dressing fan. I just ain't no turkey fan. Not a turkey fan. I love ham, but I just I, I like dressing, but I I just don't put the turkey. Yeah. Does it put you to sleep? No. They say it makes you sleepy though. Yeah. I've heard that. <laughs> they say if you eat it, you get sleepy. Um, do you mind if I ask your age? I'm 80. 80? I'll be 81 January the 25th. Ooh, I would have figured you was a lot younger than that. Well, that's what all the people say. I look younger than that, but I'm not. Oh, well. And I was married for 50 years. Wow. Huh. Well, I'm glad that you're having a good, a good Thanksgiving. I appreciate you talking to me. Do you mind if I take your picture? Okay, and I like, you know what, I really like that hat and that scarf. Thank Did you make those? No, it's a woman that goes to the center. She made it for me. Oh, okay. She, she does that. 
In this scarf, it was Gibson. Oh, okay. Do you go to the Mooresburg Community Center? I go to the Mooresburg Community Center. Yeah, I, I, I like them folks. They're all real nice. Yeah, they are. I try to go on Mondays and Wednesdays, but I didn't get to go this Wednesday. I was oh. sick. I've had trouble with my sugar. Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Well, last Sunday I was sick, and I went to church and I told them how low my sugar was, and they said, "George, we may have to call the rescue squad to come get you." I said, oh, Lordy. Well, I said, "Don't out you have to." It was forty one. Oh man, what they do? They give you something to eat? Well, they gave me something to eat, something to drink. And, yeah. And I I sat there and drunk that all during church. Mm -hmm. And I usually sing. And the pastor asked me, he said, "Are you going to sing today?" And I said, "Yeah, I'm going to try." Did you make it? Yeah. I oh, made good. It. <laughs> but I still had chest pains. Oh. And when I went home. I called one of my friends, I said, what do you do when you have chest pain? She said, well, George, what I do is take an aspirin and go to bed. Yeah, yeah. And I said, well, what does that do? She said, well, if it's your heart, I said, really, you ought to went to the doctor. Yeah, I think it, it thins heart. your blood, so. But I don't know what it was. Did you get better? But after I went to bed, I got the feeling better. But, okay. but all week, I've had trouble t trying to get my sugar. Huh. Till today, I got it today, y'all. Right. Well, good. I hope that well, ain't messing up your Thanksgiving anyways. Uh, At least you get, get to enjoy your meal without having to worry about that. Okay. Keep eating right. and talking, and I'll just <laughs> interview you as you eat. Um, well, I was just going to, is this, how, have you been coming to this dinner for, for me? This is the second time. The second time? Well, how do you like it? <laughs> great food, great company for the wait on me. Yeah. It's, you have your own personal staff today, don't you? That's the way it should be. Important <laughs> people get personal staff. <laughs> I'm up front, see? Yeah, you got the TV too. I'm blocking the TV. No, we were. That's what I said. You get here early, you get the Macy's Day Parade. Yeah. <laughs> I made sure she got the best seat in the house. And then the football game starts. Are you a football fan? Ball. Not really. Balls. I am oh, balls. balls. Uh -huh. Well. She she met me at the door. Yeah. But you don't care. I'm getting two neighbors. Oh. Of course, they're elderly too. I guess. Yeah. But, did you get a ride? Or no, I drive. Oh, okay. All right. I know they give rides or they, you can either come yourself or they give you a ride, one or the other. Oh, I've always driven. Oh, okay. It's come last year and this year. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, so. I drive. I hope I can always drive. Yeah. I know what you mean. <laughs>